Hi, my name is Christopher Woodbury, and I'm a senior level student at Our Lady of Lake University. Today, I'm going to be discussing how elevated temperatures and the herbicide Roundup decreases mitotic division and inhibits apoptosis in marine primary producers. I worked on this experiment with Victoria Mendez, who is a former student of Our Lady of the Lake University, as well as Dr. Brianna Salas. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with the herbicide Roundup. It is the most widely used herbicide in the world, but its application rates have seen a drastic increase from 1995 to 2014 due to Roundup Ready crops, which are just crops such as corn that have been genetically modified to resist glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. Because of this increase in the use of Roundup, significant amounts of glyphosate are being dumped into coastal environments worldwide from runoff. We know that glyphosate specifically targets the shikimate pathway of photosynthesis, so the runoff of Roundup combined with the elevated sea surface temperatures associated with global warming may cause a negative synergistic effect on these marine primary producers. To test this, we purchased gymnodinium from Carolina Biologics and incubated samples at increasing temperatures for several different time increments, both with and without a solution of Roundup. Mitotic index was tested by fixing the samples with glutaraldehyde. Both the total cells and the cells going through mitosis were counted to determine a, mitot a mitotic index. To test the rate of apoptosis, we measured the caspase 3 protein as a marker for apoptosis. Caspase 3 is a signal protein within the apoptosis pathway. The cells were flash frozen in liquid nitrogen, and the caspase 3 protein was analyzed by colometric assay. Both sets of data were analyzed with a one-way ANOVA and Tukey post hoc analysis. Looking at this first figure, you can see that mitotic index is on the y-axis and time is on the x-axis. You, you can see here that there's a significant decrease in the mitotic index between the 24 degrees Celsius sample without the addition of herbicide compared to the 24 degrees Celsius sample with the addition of the herbicide. The same result can be said when, we're, when looking at the 27 degrees Celsius sample without the addition of herbicide and 24 degrees Celsius sample that had the herbicide added. And based on our preliminary results from the caspase 3 assay, there is a significant decrease in the caspase 3 at 30 degrees Celsius with the addition of herbicide compared to the 30 degrees Celsius sample without the addition of herbicide. This implies that there is a significant decrease in apoptosis. So why is this important? Well, our results regarding the mitotic index show that Roundup causes these primary producers to reproduce at a slower rate than they normally would. And our preliminary results from the caspase 3 assay show that the Roundup inhibits this producer's normal stress response. The combination of these two effects over several generations will cause a significant decrease in the population of the primary producers at the bottom of the coastal food chain. This will cause a decrease in the carrying capacity of the environment, such as for each ascending level of the food chain and can lead to a massive die-off. Almost all of the food and oxygen that supports the base of the food chain are provided by these primary producers because they can utilize the photosynthesis pathway. Based on this figure showing chlorophyll alpha concentrations, it is clear that these producers have a massive impact on marine primary production and has the capability to decimate all marine food chains. Thank you so much for watching my presentation and I would be happy to answer any questions during the poster session. Stay safe and have a great day.